Hi everyone, welcome to Deco Easy. I'm Diane here and today I'm going to participate in a lovely challenge hosted by Kimberly Davis and her co-host. For the ones which are new here on our channel, welcome. As I said, I am Diane and I host this channel together with my modeler and old Jenny. We both live in the Netherlands, love to decorate our homes, especially for the Christmas season, but today I'm going to decorate for Mother's Day. And I do that, as I said, in a challenge of Kimberly David from Diva Designing on a Dime. This is her channel. She has a lot of subscribers. Check out her lovely video. She really has a lot of videos. I will show some around here. And the video which we're going to participate in today is this one. Oh, put it on pause. I'm going to make, I will open up the rules, a coffee table actually two different styles. You can see it here in the description box. Two different styles for a Mother's Day coffee table styling. And she is hosting this challenge together with this lovely co-host, All Things Looks by Robin. I'm going to her channel right now. Here we are. This lady has some lovely videos as well. Check out her channel. And right now I'm going to take you with me to decorate two different styles of table decor or actually I'm going to make trays for the coffee table for Mother's Day. So this tray here is the base for the first Mother's Day uh, style. What I had in mind, um, I don't know if you guys did this at home when you were a kid, I did. When it was Mother's Day or Father's Day of course, we also celebrate Father's Day here in the Netherlands. Um, as a kid, we uh, crafted in kindergarten an artwork for mom. We were very proud of it, my sister and I. And then my father made breakfast uh, on bed for her. And we all gathered sneakily in the kitchen, not waking her up. So we toasted some sandwiches, boiled an egg for her, some orange juice and yeah, freshly baked bread, pastry added and some fruit as well. And then we served it for her all on a tray and then she had breakfast in bed and um, yeah, we all were in the bedroom of my parents, chattering together. It was a very good time. So I wanted to bring the feeling back and I wanted to make something like that again to remind me of those good times. Um, and therefore, I have this cute tray. Uh, it is pink. I will show you the original color. I hope you can still see it here. Yeah, you can see it here. It is white and now it is lightly baby powdery pink. Just like so. Oh yeah, and also forgot to tell, here I put some rubber underneath so it won't damage the surface. Um, I bought this tray for 5-6 euros at a shop called Action in the Netherlands, which is pretty similar to Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, I believe. Sorry, I forgot the name. I have a blackout right now. In the United States. Um, and I painted it. I think it was yeah for Easter for the Easter season. I painted it. There also is a logo here on the back, which I find pretty ugly. So that is just the back side. We never see that again. And this will be the front. Now here you get a peekaboo of what I wanted to show you next. In case you didn't see it, this is what I made for Mother's Day DIY. I'll put it so like this down for you. Um, because of coronavirus, um, yeah, I wasn't able to do some shopping outside, at least John and I uh, and the rest of the family as well stays as much inside as possible. We only go out for groceries and we need to do that alone. So I had to craft something with stuff which I had inside of my house. Um, and then I saw this idea on Pinterest. It is a painting of cups of tea. And how I've made it, uh, if you want to check out it, uh, please take a look at our video, but for the ones who don't want to see it, or, um, yeah, I'm going to give you a, a, a short summary of what I did. I had here on the back a canvas, a blank canvas, painted it pink, same color as the tray, and then I used some tea bags, and here you can see it's some egg cartons. This is an egg carton did as well, well, well. Uh, painted it, glued it on the canvas, put in a tea bag, glue the top of the tea bag. What is this? The paper of the tea bag? I don't know how they call it in Dutch. We say lipje, but lit would be the translation. I don't think that is the right translation. But if you do know the word for this, 
please write down in the comment section because I'm really curious how you call this and then I'll be able to learn again some new words which is always good um, and then I just painted some ears of the cups here you can also write down of course a cute message for mother or for your friend for your sister it is really easy to make also when you have children uh, I think egg cartons are things most people have at home together with some tea bags. I only used paint which I had inside my home, pink, blue and yellow, but you can also of course buy something new or leave it totally white or color it in with uh, ink. Leave it up to you, be creative. Uh, but I didn't write a message here because I wanted to, st um, to store this in the kitchen. I think this is a really cute sign for the kitchen or a cute painting for the kitchen. So that's why I left it empty, but I really wanted to show it on my tray for Mother's Day. I think that this item, this is the first item of the tray, would be a perfect way to expose my DIY painting. So just like here, stands nice and steady. I um, I want to put this, I think, on a dining table, but I easily want to take it off when we have dinner. Um, so yeah, just had to pick it up and move it aside. So I don't want to fold this over and it might break because um, yeah, I don't know how strong the glue on this egg carton is because I think the egg carton, uh, you might have seen it in the DIY video, the egg carton was actually quite difficult to cut and I don't know how long the glue lasts so I tried to keep it easy as possible. Don't touch it and hope it lasts very long. So. I think I'll leave it this way. No, joke. Of course I don't. Need to put on some extra decor. So my DIY artwork is standing here, proudly in the tray, ready to get upstairs. Um, another thing which uh, most people do actually, or actually I know most people do who I speak or who I know, is give flowers to mother on Mother's Day. So I think a rose, like here, would look pretty cute. You can see the rose is pink. I'll take it out again. I'm putting it back next in. The rose is pink and it matches beautifully with the colors of the tray and of the painting. These one come from a garden center which is usually pretty expensive, but weird enough these flowers were extremely cheap. So I bought a whole lot of bunch of these and just one simple rose I think looks fine here in the tray for Mother's Day. And that's is a rhyme. So the next step is putting some food in the tray. Therefore, I found this Riverdale cute little, yeah, what is it? Cake stand thing. I don't know what it is. Link, things look pretty in here because it is quite large and I can take it to the back there. And yeah, then there's some enough space to put in a drink or some more decor here in the front. But here I want to serve in some food for mother. And I have very cool food here. Look at this. Just want to take a bite out of this. Come on, camera. Thing doesn't focus well. Start keeps focusing on the back. Yeah, there it is. Look how realistic this is. You might see it here. There's a little hole here. This is originally uh, an item from Kurt Adler for the Christmas tree, an ornament. These all are. I have some more here. I have a whole bag full of it. Well, let me see. It's in the kitchen. Just go to the kitchen. Here, you can see I have so many more items. So many more pastries from Kurt Adler that uh, I can use. Um, but I chose the most pink ones here. So this one has a pink paper. This one as well, and it has some pink glitter here on the top. And this is all pink here on the bottom and on the top with some cute little pearls. So I will put them inside of this bowl and then I'll see what the next step will be. Doesn't this look delicious? Yeah, it really starts making me hungry. These things always make me hungry because they look so realistic. Yeah, I think I want to add some more here in the front together with a drink, just like, like tea. Mom, yeah, mums usually love tea on bed when it's Mother's Day. 
So just see how I can fit in a plate with some more cupcakes here in the front. First I will take, give you the last close-up of these Kurt Adler pastries. I love how they look. I love how realistic they are. Especially this one here, this spiky one. Yeah. Good. I wanted to fit, uh, fit in a platter. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, platter is the word. That thing was too large, so I chose to put a bowl in here, which is suitable for putting some more cupcake pastry in there. I decided to put two pieces of cake here in the bowl because I tried to put on some more muffins or cupcakes, but they didn't fit in together. They were too large, so I just had to add one cupcake, but I didn't like the yeah the feeling of one cupcake inside of this bowl or dish. So I put it into pieces of cake and now they are pretty steady because when I put the two muffins together they start tumbling doing it like this and I bloop they turned over so yeah it was a very weird thing then you only had cupcake cupcake like this so it wasn't really a solution. So that's why I did it this way and I think it looks cute, it matches the colors and I think it is some good pastry for mom to start the day with. Because, you know, on Mother's Day you can get spoiled by the rest of the family. Also on the other days, of course, but on Mother's Day a bit extra. And here we have the tea mug. The last thing I've added was the tea bag and the spoon inside of this mug, which belongs to the same tableware as this uh, cup. Or bowl, actually. And this is the first tray, the final result of the first tray really gives me the feeling like I'm a child again coming up to mother's bedroom with a tray of food and a favorite drink and my kindergarten artwork yeah good times With the second tray of this challenge and the first item which I want to use is this beautiful lantern with a battery operated artificial candle and some hydrangea petals that would look nice upon the salon table because that is where I want this huge thing to be just take a look at this lovely printable image which I found on the internet. I think this would be the best centerpiece for this second tray which I'm going to make. Perfectly for Mother's Day. Yeah, I think it looks cute. So this is a sign where I want to put the internet image in. Um, it's made of wood. It's Whoa, that was a wrong sentence. It's made out of wood and I wanted to stay in a farmhouse style. So the sign color you see right here isn't original size color. It was larger before, but I used some bee wax to make it darker, make it look more antique. This is what the sign turned out. You might have noticed it. I have put a small black line here beside the image because I, when I don't do that, I find it difficult to cut straight. And if there is anything I can't handle, then it's when I'm not cutting straight, you know, I think like going like this. So I gave myself uh, help with this black line. And now it's time to decorate the tray with this cute little sign. I've used, by the way, some yellow accents because I have some yellow items which I want to put inside of the tray. And I think it, this was the most loveliest image I could find on Pinterest. Um, to decorate my tray with. So here we are um, on the salon table. I already put in the lantern. Um, this is my basic setting. I have some things, these are made out of cork. I always use them un underneath my glasses, so 
near you can you put your glass or teacup or anything else uh, on there you don't get stains on the table then I have this wooden plaque um, flower pots with a plant in here from Ikea you can see the original color back in there it was gray then it was blue I believe then it was red then dark red and now it is yellow never know what the next color will be right ready to put some decoration in there right now so this is the base as it should be and I want the sign to be a centerpiece so I'm going to put that right in here doesn't matter where you sit up here or up here well except from the candle you sit a bit higher I'm sitting on the ground right now you can read the sign look at these two cute sheep I thought they would in, fit in perfectly with the Mother's Day sign mom and her kid standing here proudly because it's spring and I love some cute spring animals inside of my house for decoration so I'm almost done I only need to finish everything off uh, here I have some decor which I want to use some lamb or rabbit's ear from Aliexpress hydrangeas and some greenery like this I also have this very cute but small wreath bought it once at a garden center several I bought several of them um, yeah so I'm going to put that all in there and then I will show you the final result and here you see the result of the second tray I hope that you like what I've made if you did don't forget to subscribe like this video and push the bell button so you can get a notification every time we upload a new video I will show you another whole close-up of this tray of course we have here the lantern with the battery operated candle this one has a moving realistic flame which I really like um, it has a six hour timer so it's perfect for indoor use I mostly come out well except right now not now out of my work from I think it is 6 a.m. no 6 p.m. sorry it's always confusing 6 p.m. so it turns on and then at midnight it automatically turns off here are the hydrangea petals and I've used some more hydrangea petals here some rabbit or lamb's ear in the back and here in the front I have some I'll take one out of course for you here this comes from an artificial IKEA plant I have longer strings some of them are about this size really lovely and yeah it was one plant before but I cut it into several small pieces so you can have some lovely greenery which you can put in everywhere here we have the wooden tray with a blue hydrangea in front these all come from Aliexpress the uh, pink ones and the yellow ones as well this is a whole bunch this is just some here you can see the small petal which we also whoop, dropped it we cut it into several smaller pieces so it's easy to give a nice touch of color onto smaller places uh, the wooden plaque and here we have some uh, Riverdale uh, scented candles I don't know if you know the brand Riverdale in the Netherlands it is a very yeah, expensive and also well-known brand very luxury brand I bought these candles at an outlet I'm never going to uh, lit them but they smell incredibly good you don't have to lit them um, this is the smallest one, the pink one, uh, scented candle, cherry blossom, but then in French, I don't know what I did in French, maybe to make it more luxury, I don't know, or sound more luxury. This one is in English, blueberry, and I like this one the best for the scent, rainforest flowers, hello camera, yes, rainforest flowers bought them in an outlet but they costed me several euros for each candle so then the home hallway smells nice two cute sheep here mother and daughter or son whatever you want to find them cute in here but also to give a touch to the spring season and here we have the sign with the mother's day text upon it and in the back you see the artificial ferns here and this is a bamboo plant from IKEA and another hydrangea so that was the second tray as I said I hope that you like what I've made Jen and I to hope to see you all back again in our next video please take care of yourself and yeah stay safe everyone
Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.